What's up, y'all? Check this out. Black Scout Survival. Ex-military guy. I believe he was, uh, right there. His name's Jack. I believe he was, uh, Army Ranger. Very disturbing. Check it out. Relieved, and then they... Damn, let me back it up a little bit. Let me get back to the beginning here. You just got to see this thing here in New We're York. Got black cow survival, midday life. Let's check in in New York City really quick. shelter and the immigrants there have got a little restless they're a little upset with the accommodations they're receiving and uh, they decided to attack police officers yeah that's where we're at now we're going to talk a lot about various parts of the country and how it's being affected but let's look and see exactly where your taxpayer money is going because I have a, a video here that shows illegal immigrants in New York since July and they've paid nothing I'm talking about they get a free hotel luxury hotel they've gotten maid service uh, three meals a day per diem uh, medical Medicare basically a seven-month vacation and personally I mean I'm thinking about going across the border coming back in and seeing if I can get a seven-month vacation I, I'm, I'm thinking about trying it Meanwhile, most Americans are, you know, are living paycheck to paycheck and now working two jobs. So, check this out. And está quedándose aquí en otro hotel. ¿Cuántos meses es eso? Como siete meses. ¿Y han tenido que pagar alimento? No, no, no. Nada. No he pagado nada. ¿Es siempre siento gratis? Sí, sí. ¿Y le dan awards o le dicen? Sí. Sí, le dan. Y ahí en el hotel hacen limpieza de la puerta. Sí, 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 sí. Todos los ah. días hacen limpieza, cambian la casa, hacen. Todos los días hacen. Sí, todos los días. ¿Han podido poder conseguir trabajo ustedes? No, no. no. no, no yo no. no. Ah. Si ustedes tuvieran un problema de medicina, ¿cómo podrían recibir ayuda con eso? Bueno, eh, con una tarjeta, la, la del seguro de Medicare. Y, y nosotros tenemos la Metro Plus y eso nos abarca el seguro que nosotros necesitamos para los niños y también nosotros nos beneficiamos de eso. ¿Se sintieron apoyados gracias a nuestro presidente Joe Biden? Bueno, sí. Sí, porque eh, si no estamos trabajando y nada, el eje se nos está ayudando prácticamente. Biden está aquí. Él es el que está aquí. ¿Qué está haciendo? Él está aquí. He's the one, no, the millions of taxpayers are doing it. He is embezzling the money. So of course they're going to vote for Joe Biden. They're going to tell all their friends and family and people across the world, come to America, you don't have to work. And there's a bigger reason for this, yes, to get votes, but there's more than that we're going to get to. Now, I have some interesting news here. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection service has found basically a fake agency van a fake border patrol van and they were carrying 11 undocumented smuggling uh, invaders here um but this is in the arizona tuscan sector this happened now they, they get caught during a routine stop Agents stumble upon the van, which obviously looks like a Border Patrol vehicle. Real one. And then they were attacked. Uh, attacked. Now, they were caught because the light bar did not match the standard light bar marked on, on, on found on marked Border Patrol units. The light bar is talking but about the little blue thing, the like red and blue. They attacked the, the Border Patrol. So... They're trying all kinds of methods now. And obviously you're not getting into America without 
cartel. I mean, and that is even yeah. if you're a, a Chinese soldier and you're coming in there paying the cartels to bring them across. But just because I've been I've been saying this, just because the media says or someone's not prosecuted does not mean they're innocent. So look at this here. These two guys here last month, Muhammad and Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad Izadan and Muhammad Ali forced entry into a business in Brooklyn, New York. The first Muhammad then raped and robbed a 49-year-old female worker while Ali hold, held a knife at her throat. Now, they, they had already been arrested, released, and then they go commit another crime. They were they were granted supervised release after they raped the woman at knife point. So just because they allow someone to go does not mean they're innocent by far. These, these are leftist run states. They are fostering this criminal behavior. That's why you see police are not respected. They're being attacked. And I want to show a, a video here of them talking about the Chinese army that is within the U.S. Oh, man. But the other issue, of course, is the border, as you've talked about, because across that border, we are seeing Chinese soldiers come across. And really what we're talking about is China putting together the infrastructure in the U.S. to attack the U.S. So clearly we've got to secure that border or we're going to be fighting on our own soil. Well, it's just incredible to me that this administration refuses to acknowledge all these Chinese nationals that are coming through the border. Uh, they're, they're creating a little mini army. And I'm wondering what the point is here. Yeah. Are they trying to put people in place, I'm talking about communist China, so that when and if Donald Trump wins, they can create havoc in the streets yep. and become saboteurs, yep. uh, starting wildfires yep. and, 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 and propaganda. Doing whatever. Absolutely. That lab in Reedley, California, the secret Chinese biological weapons facility, yep. that can't be the only one that China has. And then you put together these images of recent Chinese migrants coming into the U.S. less than three weeks, taking target practice with sniper rifles and pistols. So really what we have here so is see, the uh, of a Chinese army, not in China, but in the United States. It's we have a world of tracking these people. So we have Chinese nationals coming into yeah. the U.S. in droves. Jeez. They are going to ranges and training on sniper rifles. And no one's alarmed. Hmm. I'm going to stop it right there, y'all. Y'all check him out. This is Black Scout Survival. This video is almost 21 minutes long. This is it. It was a live stream that he did the other day. But it's getting more serious, y'all. We have a world cartel. A sour underbelly. An underground, if you will, that are setting up to get things done literally within the next few months. They do not want another election. Y'all get me? Prepare to defend yourselves, my friends. They are here. God bless the United States of America. Screw you commies, you know the drill. Oh, God bless the United States of America. Lord be with us. Right on. Later, patriots.